Hi, I'm Maggie. I'm a junior at Oak Creek High School. My parents got divorced when I was very little. I hardly ever see my dad anymore. They had issues that I never knew about, but she always told me how she was struggling to forgive them. Ever since then, my mom has always been particular about time, and I have no idea why. I had asked my mom about going to the football game later that night. She told me it was fine, but I had to be home at exactly 10.30. She would always tell me, not a second sooner. I was very shocked to see my dad because he didn't come around very much. Everything felt different all of a sudden. I was really hoping to see him when I got back home. I guess my mom has rubbed off on me. Now I catch myself watching the time. What's happening? I couldn't help but not stare at him. He had the most dreamy ocean blue eyes. My best friend Gracie has always teased me about Ryan. My heart was racing when Ryan stopped me. I could feel the redness on my cheeks when he asked me to go to the football game. I was overly excited, but all I managed to say was, yeah, sure. On the way to the game, Gracie wouldn't leave me alone because she knew how much I liked Ryan. She kept telling me to watch the time because she knew how my mom was. But really, all that I could think about was the idea of my dad coming home. I decided to push that thought away when I saw Ryan at the gate. I didn't want to give up a part of my high school experience for a dad that never really cared. I was having the time of my life. For once, I wasn't worried about anything. The stress, anxiety, sadness just disappeared into thin air. And then my phone buzzed. Everything just hit me in the face like a strong gust of wind. Not a second sooner. When the game was over, Ryan and I went to go get something to eat. First, I had plans to eat with Gracie and the others, but we didn't want to be drowned in questions that we didn't know the answers to. While I was sitting there, I took in all of the moment. I didn't want to miss a single second. The night was coming to an end, and Ryan had to be home by 9.30. It was already 9 o'clock, so we left. It was only 9.30 when we pulled into the driveway. I don't know how I let the time slip my mind. I tried stalling, but we noticed that my dad's car in the driveway and Ryan wanted to come inside and introduce himself. When we got to the door, I was very anxious to go inside. I still had another hour until I was supposed to be home. Mom!